girl. That's a good girl. Is that fun? Yeah, it's pretty. She's a 12 week old female puppy. She's from Cross Lake, Manitoba. I actually brought her back the last time I was up there doing a vaccine clinic. We took her and her two siblings. Um, her owner had her mum. Uh, we implanted the mum so the mum won't go into heat for a couple of years now, uh, but the owner didn't have the money to feed the puppies. These three puppies were living outside. It was just starting to get cold. Orbit was born with a problem where she's not making any tears, and so when they opened their eyes at two weeks, um, she had no lubrication on her eyes, and so her eyes developed very severe ulcers. And so when I found her outside, um, she couldn't, she didn't want to open her eyes because they were so painful because of the ulcers on her eyes. And so she was very skinny and very stunted because she wasn't getting uh, the food that her litter mates were getting. So we brought her down. Um, she's been on medication to treat the eye ulcers and a lubricant that helps to replace the tears that she's not making. She has healed up really well. We removed her left eye because the left eye had other problems as well. It was smaller than it should have been and the eyelids were rolling in and the hairs on the eyelids were rubbing on the eye so that was making the ulcers worse. So we removed this left eye a week ago now. So this is her a week later. And the right eye, she's visual with the right eye and comfortable with it, but she's getting twice daily tear supplements with the right eye. And that's gonna be a lifelong uh, thing for her because she, she will not produce her own tears. And so her adopters are gonna to have to commit to doing twice a day eye drops for her for life. We wanted to keep the one eye because she is visual and she is comfortable and the medication is working very well for her. She's a very well-behaved, very social, sweet little puppy. He's a good girl. He's so fun. I know. I'm going to be famous. Donations are what makes this happen. Um, we are working with other rescue groups in Manitoba and when we do a, a remote spay and neuter clinic, uh, we're paying for um, supplies, vaccines, anesthetics, suture, staff time, all that stuff. It's it's an extra it's an extra strain on our budget that we don't have on a day to day basis, and we are realizing how important this area of the province is, and so it's an area that we will continue to expand into. Uh, for dogs like Orbit um, because it's important and so that's what the donations are helping to, they're helping to expand this project.